Hey, Johnny Wonder here with Golf WRX. I am here with Anna Norquist, PXG staff professional. Anna, good to see you. You too. Thank you Thanks for doing for this me. with us. So kind of the fun part about the Disruptor series is we're really getting to know PXG from the inside out. And obviously it lives and dies sort of with the staff, uh, the tour staff. You guys are out on tour representing the company, but also playing for millions and millions of dollars. So this is a gearhead website, WRX. So I want to talk a little bit about what's in the bag and, and the why and the how of it all. So talk to me about, you know, from the driver all the way down, let's just talk about what you got in the bag. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, as a tour professional, you have the, the opportunity to really play anything you want. Um, I am really excited to play PXG because I feel like it's the best equipment for me. Uh, I started with the wedges a couple years ago. Okay. So I have um, these build wedges. Uh, I have a 58, a 50, and a 54. Okay. Um, and it's, as far as yardage gapping goes for these, so... Yeah, my 58 goes uh, 85 yards, okay. my 54 goes at 95, and then my uh, my 50 goes about 110. Okay, and um, do you play, I mean, obviously all the tour players hit it, hit it on the center of the club face a lot, but do you play to your miss when you're gapping out your bag, or do you play to your, to, to right out of the middle of the I face? I mean, throughout, throughout the bag, I try to have a, a, a good, good distance, I mean... I have about what 10, 15 yards in between the wedges, and then my pitching wedge goes 120, and then the 135, okay. 9 iron, 145. So I have like 55, 65, 75. Okay. Basically, so I have every 10 yards. So it's important. I mean, I have I carry a four iron and I carry a 22 degree. The 22 degree launches really high. Okay. So it's awesome when I need it to stop. Uh, when it blows a little bit more, you need to keep it down. You want that? It's perfect. So I always I always have options. Okay. Um, and then as far as the shafts are concerned, you're, you're in the True Temper Elevate uh, R-Flex 95, so it's a little bit of a lighter shaft. So yeah, why that shaft? It's, um, I started a little bit with, with a little bit of spin with the shaft that I had in the beginning of 2019, and uh, we actually ended up changing just before the first major of the year uh, and put these, uh, these Elevate in, and it's been awesome for me. Um, found it a little bit more stable than I had in the past and um, I've always hit it pretty straight but then now I hit it even straighter so it's awesome and I just put these new the generation 3 T irons in play and I absolutely love them I love the two the generation 2 um, but these I mean these are probably the coolest looking golf yeah I've ever there's seen. a lot going on um, and they're just so solid they feel so good and um, actually coming off a few yards further than, than my old ones. Did you ever mess around? So <laughs> when you were in the Gen 2s, were you in the Ts as well, or were you in the Ps and Ts? No, I've always been T okay. uh, throughout the bag. Uh, I like those the best. I've always kind of played forged irons okay. um, over the years of my career. Um, I do find them them really steady. Like I, I feel like I'm very consistent right. uh, with my misses, and uh, my iron play has improved quite a bit the last two years. Okay. So um, really excited about these irons. Uh, I keep having my hybrids <laughs> that I had for a couple of years. Yeah, these are, these are PXG old school hybrids, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's my live and die for. I know exactly how they go. Um, and I'm really straight and, you know, some part fives or some longer part fours. Um, but I do believe uh, if you find a club that you really, really love, like to, to keep in it. So even though there's new technology out, uh, they're awesome too. Right. But I still love these ones, and, and there's nothing wrong with them. So. And you're in a, a very popular. So you're in a DI75 stiff Tour 80 shaft. So this is this is a pretty stable shaft. So like, yeah. but it also is easy to launch up in the air, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, I, I feel I feel like the women's game is all about consistency and about hitting your yardages. Um, there's a lot of technology. I did hit the the new ones a little bit further, but for me, it's you know maxing out that gap. So I have right. the five iron go 175, and then. This one and it'll goes 188, 190 yards. So I just want to be able to hit it consistently and know what my clubs are, are doing. Uh, some of them tend to go a little bit too far these days. Um, right. <laughs> so, and then I have a good three wood. Yeah. Um, that's Gen 2 three wood. Yeah. Okay. And what's the loft on this one? Uh, this one is, let's see, 16 degrees. Okay. Um, I tend to hit them a little bit better when I have a little bit more, um, more loft on them. Okay. Um, get them to launch a little bit and then they'll actually play a little bit further for me than if I have a 15 or 14 degree. And you're in sort of an older, an older uh, Mitsubishi shaft. You're in a Fubuki 60X yeah, 5CT. It's, it's the same shaft that I have in my driver. We messed around with a few different ones, but it seems to be, be, be a winner for me. I've had it for a few years. Um, changed the cupboard a little bit. Um, just changed a little bit more loft on my driver and it actually launches a little bit higher and it carries, carries a little bit further for me. Okay. Um, but it's good. I mean, I know where my driver's going, and um, I'm hitting 
10, 11, 12 fairways around. Can't that's, beat that. That's all you can ask for. So you have kind of a funny setting. So like, you know, the PXG, the, they have the external weighting system and, and you have a combination. So it looks like whoever built this club for you in the X, this is a 12 degree head, but they're trying to build some stabi stability across the face. So they really kind of mess with the weights yeah, around Yeah, so I mean, every club in my bag, I, I worked quite a bit with PXG and with John McCannon. That's mm -hmm. our tour rep that's out on, on tour every week. So every, every club, we always keep checking it and uh, when I put this driver in, in play, we messed around with the weights just to optimize it. And, and I think that's why it's so great to, you know, um, have him out there and being able to, um, you know, with just a few few changes, you can all of a sudden start hitting a little bit of raw or fade. Isn't that funny how it works these days? Yeah. You can make the, okay, so a couple of last questions. So I do this on my podcast. They're really stupid questions. I'm going to ask them anyway. So favorite golf course to play? I love Kings Barnes. Okay, why? Scotland. Uh, it's just, just something about the area and the, and the views. Um, yeah, it was really cool. Okay. Loch Lomond in Scotland was, was special too. Best golf shot you've ever hit in your life? I made a hole in one at a Solheim Cup in the in the right moment. It's a decent one to have. Yeah. Okay. And as far as the Solheim Cup's concerned, like we, you know, the men have the Ryder Cup, you guys have the Solheim Cup. What's it like? Like the nerves, it's got to be just crazy. Yeah, I think, I mean, it's a combination of the nerves, but I think it's more like the atmosphere that kind of like it's just so special like it's just so much so much adrenaline pumping like going up to that first tee uh, and hitting the first tee shot it's just no other feeling you can describe in the game of golf right okay dream foursome last question dream foursome Ooh. well i've always been a big fan of adam scott so he'd probably be in it okay <laughs> that's okay i haven't gotten that one yet Kevin, okay uh, and then probably my younger brother matthias he's awesome good answer well it's so so nice to yeah. meet you thank you for taking the time for us it's johnny wonder and anna norquist scottsdale national we're out of here